Hi guys! Tie-dye is super trendy right now and I'm a big fan. I thought it would be really fun to do an episode on different tie-dye techniques, but when I went to purchase a tie-dye kit, they were all sold out, back-ordered, or really expensive. So I experimented with some different options at home and today I'm going to show you my two favorite alternatives using bleach and fabric dye. Here's what you'll need to get started. A white t-shirt, writ or some type of fabric dye, rubber bands, a squirt bottle, saran wrap, and dye fixative is optional. Start with your white t-shirt and simply begin scrunching it up. I like to keep the shirt dry, although you can dampen it, it'll just give it a little bit of a different effect. Next, grab your rubber bands and start securing the shirt. I like to scrunch it pretty tight so that the color doesn't bleed. Now we're ready to mix our dye. You're going to add one tablespoon of color per eight ounces of warm water. You can add a little more or less depending on the intensity of the color you want to achieve. I placed my shirt on a baking rack to keep it elevated from any runoff and now we're ready to apply our dye. Squirt the color directly onto the fabric. Concentrate on one area at a time and make sure you leave some white in between. Once you're happy with the pattern, let it sit for about 30 minutes. Now we're going to apply the dye fixative. This isn't essential, but it will help keep the color from bleeding. Squirt it over the entire shirt until it's saturated. Next, wrap this shirt in saran wrap and place it in the microwave for two minutes. This is going to set the color. Our shirt's cooled, so now we're gonna take off the plastic, rinse it in cold water, and remove the rubber bands. The anticipation and ta-da! I think this turned out so cool and wash it separately the first time just in case it bleeds. Keep in mind that the color will fade a little bit. It gives it more of a beachy feel. You can also turn it up a notch and add some patches. I love how this one looks. We also dyed accessories like face masks and matching shorts. Next up is this super easy reverse tie-dye using bleach. All you'll need is a dark or black shirt, a squirt bottle, rubber bands, and bleach. I'm using this black t-shirt, but you can work with any item of dark clothing as long as it's cotton. And we're gonna start the same way as the last one by scrunching up your t-shirt and securing it with rubber bands. Now we're ready to apply our bleach solution. This is just equal parts bleach and warm water. And just like last time, hold it close to the fabric and gently squirt. The cool thing about this is you can start to see your pattern right away. And then turn it over and repeat. And now for the fun part, let's remove our rubber bands and see how it turned out. It's always so exciting seeing what you're gonna get. And wow, I love this one. I decided to crop this a little bit, cut off the sleeves, and I think it looks so cute with jean shorts. You really can't go wrong with the bleach. These are sick. You can experiment with different materials as long as they're predominantly cotton. This is such a fun project that the whole family can participate in. I want mine to have more yellow than they can. I think we've made enough tie-dye to open our own store. All right, guys, we had so much fun making our shirts. Tell me in the comments below if you've been doing any tie-dyeing or if there are any other tie-dye videos you'd like to see, and we'll see you soon. Bye, Bye guys! It's official. We have no solid color shirts left in our house.